Well, as expected, the Montana legislature put a wrap on its 2019 session. Lawmakers completed their work on the state's two-year budget, passed Medicaid expansion, and approved millions of dollars in public building projects. But lawmakers say they also left some things undone and still on the table. MTN's Mike Dennison reports. The final gavel came down in the Montana House at 3.40 p.m., and the Senate had finished its business an hour before, not long after voting on the final pieces of the state's $10 billion two-year budget. The sponsor of the main budget bill, Republican Representative Nancy Balance of Hamilton, said it increased state spending only 3.8 percent over the two-year period and called it a good, hard-fought compromise. So yes, this is probably not something that everyone loves, but it's probably the best this group could have done. Big pieces of the budget include the $700 million a year Medicaid expansion program, which provides health coverage to 95,000 low-income adults, hundreds of millions of dollars in building projects, including a new $48 million historical society museum, the remodel of Romney Hall on the MSU campus, and local water and sewer projects all over the state. Majority Republicans also touted a number of bills yet to be signed to aid business and the economy, such as a tax abatement to encourage more broadband in rural areas. It's a, a laundry list of things we tried to get done, and, then, and we got a good many of them accomplished, and now it's up to the governor to see whether or not he would like to uh, um, come to an agreement on those bills. So obviously, let them become law without his signature or sign them. Governor Steve Bullock said later he'll examine each bill that comes to his desk but that some will be vetoed if they bust the budget. Thursday also saw two items that failed to pass, state funding for preschool and language to help Northwestern Energy by part of the Coal Strip 4 power plant. The Coal Strip language never made it to committee, and Republicans on a budget panel rejected preschool funding proposals, which Bullock said was a disappointment. Quality preschool ought not be only for families who can afford it. I do call on our future leaders who will be in these capital hallways in two years to find a way to get a permanent publicly funded preschool program done for the state once and for all. Yet the governor chose to put a positive spin on the work of the 2019 legislature. At the end of the day, I do think in Montana we continue to be a shining example of how our political system is supposed to work. We've once again demonstrated that we can put partisan politics aside and come together to do right by Montanans. As one legislative leader said Thursday, no one gets everything they want from this democratic process. But for the most part, lawmakers Thursday focused on what they did accomplish rather than not. At the Capitol, Mike Dennison, MTN News.